Okay, guys, so here is the Teltonica RUT950, uh, pretty similar to the RUT240, uh, uh, obviously bigger. It's got uh, more, uh, twice the uh, Ethernet ports, uh, just kind of a larger form factor like the RUT240, uh, pretty robust and, and solid structure. Tons of features with uh, with this device. I just wanted to show the the product page for the, the you know just the long list of features. Lots of networking options, lots of security options. I see load balancing things like that in there. Um, so definitely a, a lot more capabilities than uh, not just uh, the the smaller device, the RT240, but other similar gateways that I see. Pretty pretty robust in features. So in order to get the SIM in there, you've got to just uh, take the antennas off, and this slides off really easy, no screws or anything required. Two SIM slots in this one. So I've got the SIM in there, just pop it in. And then I've got it all wired back up, and it's uh, connecting right now. So let's take a look at the management UI. So just like the other Teltonica devices, you can access it for management via the SSID. In this case, I just connected my Ethernet cable uh, to the computer, no reason, just it was there. So again, I like this uh, dashboard. It shows you signal strength, uh, which is really nice. Um, interestingly, it has automatically connected to 3G. Now, I want an LTE connection like a lot of us do. So uh, interestingly enough, I popped in our SIM, did nothing, and it just automatically connects to, it looks like, AT&T's 3G. So let's take a look at how to change that and basically force an LTE connection. And this is a pretty cool feature about... Uh, the Teltonica management, I like that they make this um, easy in terms of not having to, you know, go through a lengthy reboot or, or anything other than just simply selecting uh, 4G LTE. I th I'm not totally sure if I need to do this, but it makes sense that I would. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And I wanted to re-register. So basically reconnect, re-register to another network. I'm going to let this play out hopefully it's not too long i don't know how long this part takes to be honest with you um so i'm just going to let it play out here for a second it looks like it's applying a lot of stuff and i may actually speed up the video here okay so that uh, took about 30 seconds or more um i again didn't do much other than just click save and it looks like it hopefully re-registered let's take a look at the network status i'm hoping to see yep uh, 4g lte connection so that's great it looks like it worked from the standpoint of this let's refresh the dashboard here and yep I am on a T-Mobile LTE connection. So again, just an example of some things you may have to do to kind of finesse the connection to get exactly what you want. Um, we have a multi-carrier SIM, that uh, obviously. So sometimes in devices that have a, um, you know, a kind of a default auto everything, which is good and it's nice because you can just pop the SIM in and it works. But at the same time, sometimes you might not be getting the most optimal connection, optimal connection. And uh, so it looks like it's very easy to do so. Lots of other management features uh, in this for the mobile side, uh, certainly a lot more than I usually see. This is kind of like a, uh, that's just kind of SIM management. As you know, there's two SIM slots. Um, this is going to show you, you know, how many or what network operators, if you were to scan for operators, which ones are available and allowed to connect to. Um, I don't have that scan, so I don't really have an operator list built here. That scan takes a few minutes, so I'm not going to uh, bother with that. Uh, if you want to see it, the RUT240 video, I do it. Um, Interesting how you can set rate limits uh, just like you can on our dashboard for the watch alert. So, you know, you could rent limit it, uh, I guess, or get some sort of threshold alerting on the device side. Uh, but again, we, of course, uh, for free, provide that uh, on the user console as well. So uh, I really like all the uh, configurable options here. Not really sure what SIM idle uh, protection test means. Uh, but again, the, obviously these are very well documented. Um, and I would highly recommend to, to take a look at this if you're looking for a very robust, uh, fast, uh, very feature-rich uh, IoT gateway, cellular 4G LTE gateway. We sell this uh, in our marketplace, soracom.io. Check out the store. And if you have any questions, just email us at info at soracom.io. Thanks a lot.